Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Sherry Katie Mystic, and today's Pick a Card Tarot reading is what you need to know right now. So these are channeled messages from Spirit for you, um, wherever you are in your life when you're watching this. So for today's reading, I'm going to pull all the cards fresh. So instead of picking a pile, you're going to pick a ring. So I have three rings to choose from for today. I'll get you to take a deep breath with me and tap into the energy of this reading. Hmm. Okay. So for pile one, we have this lion ring. Okay. Take a moment, see if you resonate with the energy of this ring. For pile two, we have a spider. And for pile three, um, this is zebra. I actually just realized it's missing one of its eyes, but that's okay. Ooh. <laughs> zebra. So pick whichever ring is drawing on your intuition the most. And when you're ready, simply click on the timestamp in the description box to go to your reading. And I'll see you there. Okay, so welcome, Pile 1. Welcome to your reading. Let's find out what you need to know right now. What are your messages from Spirit? Um, if you pick the lion, you are in the right place. Right away, I'm getting bravery is a key um, with the lion energy. As well as the song, um, you may have heard it, I want to know your name. It's like, I want to know your name, 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 name. You just killed me. Something like that. Uh, by, I think it's Swedish House Mafia. Um, that may be relevant. Like, you might want to look up the lyrics because that song is playing. <laughs> and I haven't heard it for a really long time, so it's very strange. So let's see what you need to know, Pow One. Okay, so we have Two of Cups. Cool. So you might have a soulmate coming in. I'm also getting just like harmony is around you right now. Okay. There's some sort of harmonious meeting. I want to know your name. Maybe at the club. <laughs> okay. We have judgment in reverse. I feel like someone that you've kind of negatively judged is really going to surprise you here. Okay. Or someone that... Your immediate judgment of them might be, like, yeah. Yeah, you might be like, eh, I'm going to walk away from this. I'm not sure. There's something about you leaving and this person, like, wanting to follow you or really wanting to get to know you. Again, kind of tapping into that energy of that song. Um, but I see you kind of, like, not really being into it, walking away. There's something else you're attached to here. Let's see what this devil is. Page of Swords. Okay, so I feel like there's like a air sign here that really struggles with self-love, um, self-criticism, and things like that. And you're kind of more attached to this person. You're more attached to someone. If you haven't met them yet, maybe you'll meet someone who's kind of like really down on themselves. You're more attached to them. So you're walking away from this, this harmonious person. Okay. But I'm saying like that doesn't matter too much because this person is going to want to get to know you. Okay. We have justice in reverse. Yeah. Like I think you're being drawn towards an unbalanced connection when there's a balanced connection being offered to you. So something to think about. Let's see what else is coming through. Let's see more about this Two of Cups. Okay, we have the King of Cups in reverse and the King of Swords in reverse. So I'm getting like, you don't really trust this other person. They may be new to you. Um, you can't really receive their words in the same way. Um, so you're kind of being pulled back to this other situation. 
However, I do feel that this person is, like, pretty solid. Let's see if we can find out more about them. They may be an Aquarius. They're here to bring you, like, a lot of fun, a lot of celebration. Like I said, you might meet them, like, at a club or at some event or party. Um, or even just, like, a farmer's market. Something like that. Something outdoors. Um, like, I'm seeing they have a lot to offer you. They're really fun. Um, carefree, but you're just being pulled, pulled, I feel like you're more attracted to this other energy, this air sign, or this earth sign, um, could really be a Libra, because we have lots of Libra energy coming up here, those Libras though, <laughs> they're cute, um, let's see, I'll pull a couple more for what you need to know right now, so yeah, if you were, um, this definitely seems like a uh, love reading more than money or career. Yeah, again, I feel like you can trust this person, this new person, okay, this new energy. It's okay to walk away from them, though. They're not the type of person that's going to get super offended if you walk away or you don't really see them at first. Um, but they really have a lot to give you, and it's a very, like, playful, childish energy that they're going to have for you or that the re your relationship with them would have. So it's like, yeah, I do, I do definitely see, okay, yeah, so I just get, like, spend some time thinking and, like, really considering things. Don't make any quick movements if you don't want to, either towards this person or or this new person that's coming your way. It's not, it's not about forcing things. So with either one, you don't really have to force the connection here. Um, yeah, I'm going to pull some cards from a different deck. Let's see what's coming through for you. What do you need to know, pal one? Like, you need lots of rest right now, I'm getting. If you like meditating or just taking baths or lying out in the grass, all those things would be really beneficial. Just like calming down your energy. There's no need to force anything here, like I said. So what does pile one need to know? Yeah, this other person's going to be really sweet on you, though. Okay, yeah, we have lots of sexual passion here. Okay, I'm getting this person's like really attracted to you. So even if you walk away, they're still going to want to get to know you. And then we have the womb, which is like the home of creation, right? With that, I'm getting you almost feel safer with whoever this devil energy is just because you know them already or you they may have some negative patterns, but you already know what they are. And so a part of you feels safer with them, um, which is understandable. I mean, I don't know. What do you need to know about that? You can let me know if it's resonated in the comments. <laughs> I get like, okay, there we go. We'll take those two, three. Okay. So this person is a bridge. This Libra person is a bridge to what you actually want. The truth is going to be revealed to you. With the Apocalypse card, you're really going to see the truth of both of these people very clearly. So just pay attention, watch, Get into this Four of Swords energy where you're really calm, peaceful, and observant. So you can take in as much information about the people that you're around as you can. You know what I mean? Like, unbiased. Try to see through your judgments and just observe who these people are, okay? Because one of them is a bridge to what you actually want. And then we have the ring as well here. So there could be commitment in the cards for some of you, um, someone that wants to commit to you more long term. I am getting an offering of some sort. Very interesting. Okay, we're going to pull some more cards. I'm going to pull some of these ones. Yeah, and if you were hoping to find out about, like, career or work, um, it's possible these two people might not be a romantic interest. They could be, like, 
friends or work colleagues or something like that. However, I am getting like romance overtaking this reading here, especially this person's attraction to you. Like I said, that song, um, I think it's called One? I don't know. I want to know your name, 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 name. You just killed me. Could you at least do that? This person just wants to know about you. Like they're very attracted to you. I can kind of like feel their energy. Okay. Spirit of nurture and dancer of life. So follow whatever paths are giving you the most life right now. Okay. Nurture the things in your life that make you feel alive. Okay, nurture the relationships in your life that make you feel joy, that make you feel innocence, that make you feel playful. Try to pay attention to those ones more than the relationships that are draining you. Um, I am getting like this devil energy. They need a lot of your pity. They need a lot of your, um, you know, caretaking energy. And right now is really a time for you to nurture joy and nurture your life, okay? So I'm not saying you got to leave this person out in the cold, but... I don't know, maybe be open to other people as well. Let's see. This one wants to come through. We have movement and speed. Okay, so things are definitely speeding up for you. If there's anything that gives you joy, like a burst of energy, just follow it without question. Okay, in the coming weeks, just go for it. Be like this, be like this chick. Just run for it. Um, I'm going to pull two more. What do you need to know, Power One? Okay, we have companionship and animals. I'm getting specifically dogs. However, yeah, like I said, this could be a companion coming through. Um, one or both of these people could really be someone that lasts a lifetime with that ring energy. A really deep bond. Um... You may be moving to a type of companionship or committed relationship. And yeah, again, we have wildness, wildness and electricity. <laughs> wildness and electricity. So I am getting that this person over here is going to be really passionate for you. Very high chemistry. Um, very electric feeling with their energy. Lots of movement. Um, they might want to commit really quick or just speed things up really fast. Um, ultimately it's up to you, but I would say that this reading is telling you to move with what makes you feel alive, with what makes you feel this spark of joy and excitement and, you know, reason for being here. Try to seek out those things right now. That is what's going to nourish you on your path the most. So this is what I'm seeing for you, pal one. Let me know if it resonated in the comments if you want to. Otherwise, um, I'll see you in the next reading. You can subscribe to my channel. If you want 20% off tarot readings, check out the link in the description box, and I'll see you there. Welcome, pile two. Welcome to your reading. If you pick the spider, then you are in the right place. Um, right away, as far as channel messages go, I am getting the color purple, like a deep purple. Um, quite a lot. So you may have something going on with your crown chakra right now. You may be opening up more to your spirit guides or to spiritual messages, intuition, things like that. Um, as well as I'm getting like quite a strong image of a river. So we'll look into that a little bit more, but now may be a really good time to go by a river or there may be something happening for you by a river soon. So let's see what's up. What does pile two need to know right now. The river might be running east or walking east along a river. Okay. So you have the chariot in reverse. Oh no. So I'm getting things are kind of on hold right now. You may be feeling a lack of movement or forward motion, disconnected from your heart. You have the judgment in reverse. And we have Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Wands and the Hierophant. Okay. 
So I feel like wherever you are not experiencing movement in your life, if there's something that feels delayed, stuck, or like it isn't moving forward, um, this is for a reason, okay? With the judgment on reverse, I'm almost seeing like judgment has been passed on this thing and it's stalled for a reason, okay? The Ten of Pentacles is indicating to me that it's giving you the space and the time to notice the other opportunities that are available to you right now, okay? So it's giving you like a window of opportunity to see all this other stuff going on, okay? Potential... Um, yeah, ways to make money or earn or ways to grow your business if you have a business or advance in your career. Okay, I'm getting there is a little bit of a hard, uh, hard work around some of these opportunities. There's some hard work ahead of you here. We have 210, so this is definitely a new beginning. 1010 may be significant for you, or it may be confirmation um, of the correct opportunity or the right opportunity for you. Of course, always check in, make sure you're aligned with whatever you're saying yes to. However, 1010 may be confirmation. Yeah. What I'm seeing is kind of like some of these opportunities are going to take effort and work, but it's going to be work that feels good to do, um, work that you're excited about, okay? It's a little bit of an uphill battle. You're not going to get this fast forward momentum. Um, there's some, some groundwork that needs to be laid here. And with the Hierophant as well, I am getting that you may be following someone you really respect or joining an organization, a company, that you really, really respect, okay? And this person is kind of gonna lead you forward in a very powerful way, and lead you to what's next. What else, what does pile two need to know? Yeah, I feel like you're almost like the spider, just like chilling in a web right now, kind of waiting for things to happen, waiting for some flies to land, right? They will. Okay, we have the Two of Cups and the Knight of Cups in reverse. So I'm getting a really harmonious offer is on its way to you, especially in regards to financial security. Okay, romance may not be like your main focus at this moment in time. Um, if it is, this may not be your pile. Because I am definitely seeing, yeah, as I'm saying that, we have the Three of Swords. We have the Three of Swords coming out. So yeah, like I'm seeing like this is kind of a time to focus on your goals. Um, if you have career goals, money goals, path, purpose goals. Um, love is kind of doing you dirty right now. If you have love, you may have felt very betrayed by someone. Let's see, let's clarify. What is this Three of Hearts? Yeah, someone like took took advantage of you here, or was looking to take advantage, they had a plan to take advantage. So if you feel like anyone has been cut out of your life, or it's just become really hard to make plans with someone, they've been really busy, or they're never available at the same times anymore, this is for a reason, okay? They were planning to kind of take advantage here. Um, like I said, love may not be the most fortuitous thing for you at this exact moment in time is kind of what spirit is saying through these opportunities you're going to meet a lot of new people whoever this person was uh, might be an air sign because we have lots of swords coming up they're definitely shady okay so let's see what does spot what does spirit want pal to to know Hunter of Death, Ancestor of Boundaries, and Shaman of Tradition. Yeah, so definitely hold strong with your boundaries here, okay? You're going through a transformation. I'm getting especially to do with your finances and your security in this world. So be strong with your boundaries. Be firm about that. Don't let people take advantage of you or have those conversations you need to have, okay? 
with the shaman of tradition, I'm, I'm feeling you're going to find a lot of relief and comfort and safety in following someone's way. Okay, it's falling over the hierophant. So maybe there is a tradition you grew up with that you really love or a way of doing things that you find really grounding. Um, maybe it's through uh, a spiritual organization, a church, a guru, something like that. It could also just be, you know, like following company protocol for how to do your work. Um, following some sort of set tradition is really going to help ground you at this time. And be really firm with those boundaries if you can, okay? Boundaries are just what define you from another person. So it's not necessarily, um, you know, needing to like, I don't know, it's just saying no when you mean no, right? Shit like that. You'll figure it out, I'm sure. So let's see, what does Pile 2 need to know from Spirit? So do what nourishes you at this time and sustains you. You have the nectar and sustainer. So things like that bring you into the present moment. So really good food or really good drinks, maybe being out in the sun, um, smelling flowers, uh, anything that feels like nectar, nourishment to your being. Now is a time to really fill yourself with that, okay? Whenever you're frustrated by this pause, this delay, whenever you're feeling kind of like negative about whatever this Three of Swords situation is, nourish yourself with something that gives you life, okay? This is what's going to sustain you at this time. And I'm getting like, really look after yourself now. Whatever it is that you're going through, like, it's, it's been a lot. So really look after yourself. Really hold and support yourself if you can. Let's see. What does pile three need to know? Or sorry, pile two. Watch your words and co-create with spirit. Yeah, so you're in a very creative time. Um... I am getting, like, if you've looked into manifestation and stuff like that, you might be able to manifest with words, manifest with music. I'm also getting just be careful who you say what to, you, okay? Keep certain things to yourself. Just know that not everybody always has your best interest at heart. Or even if they do, sometimes people are just, like, shady. I don't know, like, even I was revealing to a few of my family members something that I had, and immediately both of them were like, oh, well, since you have all this now, then I can have some, right? Then I can take some of that. And it's just this automatic thing that we do sometimes. And sometimes it's the people closest to you that think it's okay, right? To just take what you have because you have it. So... Yeah, watch who, you, watch who you reveal that kind of stuff to, okay? Let your abundance just kind of build for a little bit. Co-create with spirit. Spirit is supporting you in your movements at this moment in time. And this is what I'm seeing for you, pal, too. So thank you so much for tuning into this reading. Definitely comment below if it resonated. If you want to get that 20% discount while it's still on before July 19th, check it out. The link is in the description box below and I will see you in the next video. So welcome pile three, welcome to your reading. Um, for the channeled messages to start off this reading, I do wanna say I'm getting a very specific message. If you are feeling frantic, stressed, or overwhelmed, the best thing you can do for yourself is cool down. So cold water showers, cool water baths, um, going into some sort of natural water source that runs very cold, like here in BC, you know, there's a couple waterfalls I can go to that have glacial water. Something like that is very indicated for you at this moment in time, especially if you are feeling frantic, stressed, or overwhelmed about anything, okay? I get that you might not, you will see clearly when you let the water hit you or when you let the cool hit you. Um, ice cubes even. Having ice cubes around. Eating ice cubes, I'm not really sure, but I am getting ice cubes as well. So let's see what uh, 
what you need to know. So what does pile three need to know? Okay. So you're giving a lot of yourself away at this time. I feel like you're really draining your own energy here. Um, you may be people pleasing or just being a little bit more generous than you need to be currently. We have the King of Swords. Okay. There's a need for you to be a little bit more clear with people about what you can and cannot do. Okay. And owning that you cannot do everything. Okay. it's really taking away from your power and your focus how much you're giving your energy away. Yeah, we have the Five of Cups in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You might be like feeling a little bit disappointed, a little bit down, um, not as disciplined, like you don't have what you need. You're worrying too much about other people here and other people's problems, other people's lives. Um, helping other people, okay? There's a need for you to come back to the self really powerfully. We have the four of um, swords in reverse. Interesting. Like, I feel like you're overthinking about others and you're avoiding what's going on internally. You're overthinking about Whatever it is that you're giving to, if you're, you know, giving money, if you're supporting someone right now, you're overthinking about them more than is necessary, okay? There's a need for you to bring your energy back to yourself. You may be avoiding some negative feelings right now. Those negative feelings are asking for your attention, okay? They're asking for your love. Um, let's see, we have the Sun and the Queen of Swords. So I do see like success, joy, a period of lightness coming your way. Um, you will be returned to this kind of feeling of childless, carefree energy. Um, and it comes through saying the things that you need to say, really clearly putting your boundaries, okay? With this King of and Queen of Swords as well, you may have um, a relationship that is really, really balanced. Okay, about a balanced relationship coming in with lots of communication, lots of clarity. The clearer that you can get internally, the easier this is going to move. I'm seeing like, I don't know, the way this reading is falling is like all of this is kind of under and then these three are making like a pyramid on top. So I'm seeing like there's a really good period of time coming up for you. Lots of clarity, lots of being in your own energy, feeling really intellectual, really communicative, um, people really listening to what you have to say. You may take on some sort of advisor role here. Okay. You're just, you have, it's like this, it's like this zebra. You have like the one good eye that can see all this good stuff coming and then you have the one eye missing and that eye is stuck in the dark. And part of the reason you are stuck in the dark is because you are giving so much of yourself away and not giving any of that energy to what you need, what you want, um, what you're actually feeling, okay? Because if you feel your negative feelings, they pass, they change on their own, right? It's when we resist them that they stay on. So, or they drag on and become moods and things like that. So, let's see some other cards here. Pile three, what does spirit need you to know? We have the river! Okay, look at that. Whenever I do channeled messages, I'm always like, is this, is this legit? Yes, we have the river. So that confirms what I was saying um, before with the image of the river. So rivers may be really healing for you at this time. Going into a bot, yeah, going into a body of water. I'm also getting just like tears may flow, okay? You may have something that brings you to tears or some sort of emotional movement. This is really healing for you, okay? There's like a healing period rushing in or moving through you right now. This 
Spending time by a river may be really beneficial for you. The stone and shapeshifter. Very cool. So with the stone, there is something here that is really solid, okay? Really permanent. This could be, like I said, if it's a partnership um, with the king and the queen of swords, that is a really solid bond, okay? That is a bond that is permanent. It is not going anywhere. If it's not in regards to a relationship, though, I'm just getting, like, when you allow this healing to move through you, when you allow these tears to come or this negative feelings to be purged, you will reach what is impermanent and unchanging within you. You will reach the truth of yourself, okay? The solidness of who you are and what you are and your ability to move through these more difficult experiences in life, right? So it's almost like all of this looking after others and worrying about what they think and what they need and giving yourself away is avoiding finding this this really solid self that you do have okay and once you connect to this solid self feel free to go back to giving to others and people pleasing and all that if you want to um you're just strongly being guided towards connecting inward at this time okay finding your truth finding what you really care about. And with this shapeshifter here, I'm getting like, don't be afraid to take on some new forms. Take on a new personality. Mix up your style like in a crazy way or something like that, a little way even. Um, let yourself play with different identities as a way to find yourself, as a way to find what's true and what's real and what doesn't change. So when you change your personality in little ways, or you change who you are in little ways, what stays the same? The, stay, the same. Ah. What stays the same? What is the stone of who you are? The root, the core. Okay, that's what's really coming up for you right now. Because through this core is where you're getting this sun energy, this joy. Okay, this playfulness, this lightness of a child. Okay. And you may find yourself like shape-shifting to what other people need and want as well. That can be an aspect of this card, um, tying into that people-pleasing energy where rather than holding on to who you are, you're molding your personality to other people. Mold your personality for yourself because you find it fun, because you're exploring and experimenting. Try to pull back from becoming what others want or need you to be, if you can. <laughs> you know, this is your message for right now, though. So let's see what else comes through. Spirit of Empowerment and Hunter of Death. Yeah, so whatever transformation you're going through right now, whatever big change, this is really bringing you into empowerment. This is really bringing you into who you are. So the difficulties that you're facing, they're for a purpose, they're for a reason here. And you will get through them, okay? Let's see what else comes through. What does Pile 3 need to know? Light in the sun. We have the sun again, okay? So I'm like, kind of like keep your mind focused on the light, the light at the end of the tunnel, that kind of idea, because you are coming towards it, okay? Success is going to be yours, if you're wondering about success, um, you're on your way there, okay? We have the sun coming up twice, that is a very lucky reading, okay? That's good luck and good fortune. Then we have Canary Spirit. Sing your song. So this is really occurring right now for you to figure out who you are, what your song is, who you want to be in this world. So take the time to do that if you can. Canaries may also be a sign that your guide's around. Um, we have 6 and 12, so 6 may be an important number for you as well at this time. 
And that is what I'm seeing for you, Pile 3. So let me know if it resonated in the comments if you want to. If you want to check out that discount, well, it's still active until July 19th. Simply click the link in the description box, and I'll see you in the next video.